this is a Cape Cobra, uh, one of the most venomous cobras in Africa. It's a large snake, reaches up to about 2,3 meters in length, and uh, it sort of favors the, the drier western half of the country. It does come up to uh, Clarkstorp and Potchefstroom, goes into uh, Botswana and uh, Namibia, but it doesn't quite reach Gauteng. Cape Cobra venom is potently neurotoxic. Uh, the onset of symptoms is quite dramatic. Following a bite from one of these snakes, victims talk about uh, pins and needles in their, in their lips. Uh, the tongue gets paralyzed, you have difficulty with speaking. Uh, followed by ptosis, where you have these droopy eyes, dilated pupils, and then progressive weakness that starts affecting breathing. So it's very, very important in the event of a, a Cape Cobra bite that you get the victim to a hospital as soon as possible. Uh, if breathing stops, they can ventilate the patient and uh, keep the patient alive until antivenom is administered. The polyvalent antivenom is highly, affected, highly effective if given early. You probably need about 12 to 15 vials, uh, but it, uh, it does work very, very well. As for their diet, they feed on rodents, birds, frogs, snakes, especially puffeters. Um, and uh, in the Northern Cape, they are well known for going into the sociable weaver nests and taking out the, the chicks. Um, there's some research going on there right now, and some of those nests, the entire brood gets taken up by, by Cape Cobras in a season. Not a single chick reaches maturity.